What is up, YouTube? Welcome back to Work Knife Balance. I am absolutely stoked for the knife that we've got under this cloth right here. And this is going to be most likely my favorite video that we have done to date on this channel for a couple different reasons. But before we get into that, I want to go ahead and say thank you to anybody who has already liked and subscribed to our channel. And if you haven't, feel free to hit that subscribe button down below. Hit the little bell icon after you do that, and that'll give you notifications on when we make new content. We're going to continue to make content, so we'd love for you to see it. You can also head over to Instagram and follow us at WorkKnifeBalance939. It's a great way to communicate with us. Let us know what you want to see, what you don't want to see, what you like, what you don't like, and just talk to us. We post teasers and pictures and all this cool stuff from our collection and the pass around knives and all that fun stuff. So head over there, check us out, get connected, all that cool stuff is done now let's dive into this trip a little fun there are three knives three different variations of the same knife under here that i am absolutely excited to bring to y'all today um so without further ado we're gonna go ahead and reveal the rango knife from sage knives this is a company that we are putting together here and bringing this as our first knife to production for y'all and I'm absolutely excited to show it to you today. We've done some teasers with it, but here is the Rango knife. We've got two different versions, a premium and a budget version that we're gonna be bringing to market. Um, so let's go ahead and start with that premium version for y'all. Um, first off the bat, I this has been a knife that I've been putting together for like the last two years and dove in really heavily over the last six months and I could have not been, could not have been happier with the way this turned out. I love sheep's foot knives. I love sheep's foot blades, and um, I really love the way that we put this one together. And all the things that came onto it. We've got a titanium frame lock knife here with the contoured titanium scales that are then milled with this geometric mosaic pattern. Both sides are going to have that on it, as well as the milled titanium pocket clip that we threw the pattern on as well here down here. You're going to have a titanium backspacer in this one, and then we are going to be using CPM 20 CV for the blade steel and then the maker's mark right there. There's going to be a fuller that's not just aesthetic. You can flip off of it as well. A generous amount of jimping on the backside. Ergos on this thing are through the roof fantastic. I have an average size hand. I wear a large glove. We wanted to give it a really solid anchor spot up here to where your three fingers could wrap around after you get that anchor in and a really nice kick stop to the back so you can really hold that, feel it in place, both in front and reverse grip. And I think we accomplished this very well with this knife. Multiple deployment methods on this makes this a fidget tool, but also something that is incredibly useful as you throw together. The blade is gonna have just enough weight to keep it drop shutty and fun through and through as you come down. We wanted to create that flipper. So with frame locks and liner locks, one of the big thing I hear a lot of times is um, the blade's gonna hit you. As you can see here, we made that big enough so the blade is not going to come down and hit you. I can do whatever and it's not gonna fall through. So we wanted to make that big enough to give you a little bit of a safety on the backside. So until you move your finger out of the way, you should not cut yourself with that knife. That is the premium version and uh, let's move on to the G10 versions and then we'll do some measurements. The measurements on these are all gonna be exactly the same. Um, the weight is gonna be different obviously, but the measurement specs are gonna be the same on all of them here. We've got a green and a blue G10 version. The green is gonna be the green G10 with the same milled lines, uh, geometric lines on both sides as well. But we are gonna have a deep carry pocket clip that will be ambidextrous on the budget version right here. And instead of CPM 20 CV, we're coming in with 14 C28 N steel, which is my favorite budget steel. Um, you heard me say it before. I think it's either, uh, in my opinion, the best of the budget steels or the worst of the premium or good steels that start to come in there, depending upon how you look at it. So uh, 14 C28N and 154 kind of go back and back in my mind, but I absolutely love 14 C28N. We got rid of the backspacer for the budget version and we added two little uh, pillars on the backside here. It's going to be a solid knife that is going to have the inset liner lock with no play on it as well. So 
the liner gonna, is going to sit in there really nice, nestled in there. And then you do have um, the solid deployment methods that you get on the titanium version as well. One thing that's going to be different between these other than the color is the green version is going to have this satin finish on the blade similar to the titanium version. Whereas the blue version is going to be blue, but it's also going to have a bead blast finish. So if you don't like the shiny quite as much and you want more of that matte finish to it, this is gonna be the one for you. And I personally, uh, out of the three, titanium is my first, the blue is probably my second favorite. We wanted to keep the same sort of action on these, so we accomplished that pretty well um, with these knives as well. We went and had 12 prototypes made, sent three off to the pass around group, so you should be seeing those come in uh, around, hopefully on some other channels here in the next month before we bring this to production. But now that we've kind of gone through the three different versions, let's go ahead and get some measurements and then we'll do some side-by-side -side comparisons for y'all. Tip to tail, we're looking at just under eight inches. We're gonna say 7.95 on the full length. We've got 3.5 on the blade with about a 3.35 on the cutting edge there. Speaking of cutting edge, because we had that sheep's foot blade, I wanted to have a really nice belly that gives you some good sliciness to it. We do have a flat grind that goes all the way through this. And so that was one thing that was really nice to keep this uh, blade all within everything that I wanted. Gonna go ahead and do the comparisons. We've got the Ontario Rat 1 up above, the Ontario Rat 2 down below. So as you can see, it's a little bit smaller than that Rat 1. Maybe hard with the angle there, but we're chopping a little bit off on the tip and chopping a little bit off, off on the handle. So it's, like I said, that large compact, definitely bigger than the Rat 2 though. So let's go ahead and pull out the Spider Co's. And go ahead and pull out the Para 2, put that up top, and we'll go ahead and grab the Para 3 down below. I think some of the closest comparison for this knife you get is that Para 2. It is gonna be a little bit smaller on the handle. When you put them side by side, you can see that it is a little bit smaller on the handle. The blade length though is gonna be almost exactly the same, just different shapes as you come through on that. So I really love that size and so that was one reason we wanted a slightly larger but still compact knife and that's how we accomplished it with this Rango knife here. With that, uh, there's not much else I really wanna dive into. We're hoping to do some live channels here to go ahead and answer questions on the Rango. Um, why we named it, what we did, what we were looking for, how we were trying to accomplish things, um, when this is gonna be hitting the market, how we're gonna be hitting the market. We're not looking to do pre-sales, but what we're trying to do is hopefully a Kickstarter for the knife. Um, we have a goal in mind that we'd like to set. Our plan is to put a half production, pay for those up front ourselves and get those started and made, and then Kickstarter for the second half of the production. If the Kickstarter is not accomplished, we will sell the first half on a website. Um, so people who wanted to buy the knife, but since Kickstarter didn't get fully funded, don't get charged and won't have a knife, can then head to the website and buy them there after the Kickstarter is over. Or hopefully, best case scenario, Kickstarter gets fully funded, everyone is able to get their knife, and then we can bring the second batch of knives in to fully fund everyone who has purchased one and throw some on the website for anyone who missed out on the campaign as well. This has been a pet project and something that we've absolutely looked forward to and absolutely love doing. So I'm just thrilled to have this here and just want to say thank you to the knife community, one for the support and two for the encouragement to do this. There have been some amazing people, some amazing channels out there that have been super helpful. Um, first and foremost, Lefty EDC, thank you very much for all of your just knowledge and what you've done to support and give me the courage to do this as well. And then some of the other guys in the pass around group uh, have been absolutely fantastic in how they've come through and supported and helped. I know KC from Knives Fast has been really good and he's doing the same with a lot of his Tempest knives. Just kind of seeing the way that they've done stuff and being able to imitate what they've done has been really kind of the courage to, to get me to do this as well as a pet project is something that I've wanted to do. So it's really great to be a part of this community. It's great to have the support of the community. And I'm really looking forward to bring this knife forward to everyone. Don't have much else to say at this point, And it is late. This has um, been a long week for me. And so I am definitely getting tired. But I wanted to get this video out. And I wanted to show y'all. So hopefully you love the knife. And if you've got questions, leave them below. Let me know what you're carrying today. 
and we'll catch you on the next one. TTFN, stay safe.